Hello there. For those who do not know me, I am Leo Vacationer, king of myself and nobody else. And um, I would like to take a very specific chance that I have right at this moment to talk about something we call dark powers. Let's call it dark powers. These kind of forces we experience in our lives that literally tear us apart, that have a certain dividing and separating effect on us. Um, <coughs> This has become quite a subject for me over the last couple of days, specifically because I am focusing as much as I can of the extreme opposite, which is unity, which is togetherness, peace, harmony, love. and. I experience that the more you focus on these love based and peaceful things, the more you get attacked by the people around you because you do something completely different than they are used to. And this is something the um, Homo sapiens does not understand yet. <laughs> um, I would like to show at this moment how you can handle these dark forces in your life. Make yourself clear that you are all alone in your perception bubble. I'm going to make a video right after this one about the perception bubbles and the on-mind gaming, which it deals with. Um, every impulse we get comes from the outside. Actually, it comes from it comes through the inside, but everything we call intuition is something that is put into us. Instinct is when we unconsciously, unaware, react on these impulses. And this we do by a certain used to behavior, which is not always good for us. <laughs> Actually, it's 90% of the time not good for us. At least not if we are with our heads still stuck in duality. Um, which is an awesome tool, by the way. Duality is nothing bad. It's just bad to put your head in it and forget that you put it in. The online gaming. In the online gaming, I will introduce a game where it is very easy to learn how to deal with duality and use it as a tool. The way it is being used as a tool against us because we don't know about it. And that's the point. All manipulation only works if the manipulated person 
does not know about it. So okay. there is nothing bad about manipulation at all. Manipulation is just the how would you call that? <coughs> the interaction <coughs> within the universe. If we would not man manipulate each other, the universe would stand still. But there is a difference between healthy and unhealthy manipulation. The same difference as there is between healthy egoism and unhealthy egoism. All the things ain't bad. The way we perceive them makes them bad if we choose to do so. And that's the point. The better we feel, the more powers work against this. These dividing dark powers, once we recognize them in ourselves and we feel bad and don't even have a reason for it, we just feel bad and we don't know where it comes from. Make yourself clear that someone who cannot deal with your good vibration tries to force you back in the system of againstness, of separation. The second you are aware of that someone is just tr trying to get you out of your middle, of your calm, of your, of your peace, either just turn away if you don't know yet how to deal with it or level this vibration by your own vibration the way to do it is the way to do it is to love if you spread out love everything becomes cool again if i do not know how to do this it's a bad thing to then put your <coughs> your um, attention on this specific subject because it means a problem to you. You shouldn't, you, you don't want to deal with it right this moment. If it is a problem, you don't have all the information to see it as a solution. We're all being forced into this separation because we wanted to experience this. All of us. Each and every soul stuck in any body had the wish to experience duality and all the suffering that comes with it. And all the bad things that we did to us in the past, we did out of love. And it's obviously that it was not meant to be understanding that in this specific moment. We couldn't have made the experience. And this is why our star brothers and sisters are not gonna take us out of here, but leave the chance to us to accomplish that by ourselves from out of us they would they wouldn't do us a favor <laughs> if they came and got us they will before something really bad happens but then we have to start all over because we didn't learn how to get out of it by ourselves so let's focus on getting out of duality by ourselves out of separation and remember each other and remind each other remind each other so remember what kind of powers we have we actually have who we are that we are the creators of our lives of our perceptions <coughs> I had to deal with this the last days because I 
got in very close contact to a person that I specifically um, recognized on the internet as someone who spreads out tons of love which is Keisha Crowther, little grandmother and okay this is something when I when I when I found her on the net I was just I was just wow that's that's like a gas station for love <laughs> whenever I felt bad I just had to watch Keisha's videos and, and instantly felt better and that is the way to deal with these dark powers turn away your focus from it focus on something you can instantly love and if you just close your eyes and think of someone and by the heart f connect with them feel yourself with this person change your perception and all these dark forces have no more effect on your life that's the trick that's part of what we are learning here concerning Keisha Crowther which I have been told many things about now which all are nothing but observations of other souls and their way of seeing her now I found that many people have a problem with this woman and I ask why she is only an impulse in your life and not a dividing one if you have a problem with her you have a problem in your head where it can be solved that's no problem at all you just have to admit that and say okay okay if I have a problem with her then I have the problem because whatever she does is her deal if I have a problem with anyone then I have the problem <coughs> it's my I'm in charge to use it to, to change this or shut up <laughs> but talking bad about people is something no longer necessary for me because I do not think anything bad about anyone anymore as it comes to Keisha Crowther I really talk about a part of my my perception which I consider as beautiful and inspiring <coughs> excuse me and all I feel concerning her is hey be happy <laughs> girl be happy live your life don't be afraid That's what they want. They want to keep you from living. All of us. And this is what we are learning right now. By all this force brought against each other to find a way into harmony. And we did find it. Keisha knows it too. And all the all the members of the tribe of many colors which I am talking to because I know you understand what I'm talking about let's do all this let's not make Keisha a guru who has to deal everything for us let's help her that's why she called out to the net because she needs help she cannot love the world for all of us. We, ha we all have to do this. Let's love. 
All we have to do is to focus on things we can love.